Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This video, I know it's been a while, but we're kicking off wedding season coming this weekend. And I've been getting a lot of questions this past year about our TV booth. And now that I officially have gotten a trailer, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to take my TV booth out. I wanna take this time and go over and make a video about how we constructed this TV booth and all the features and what it looks like behind uh, the booth. So let's check it out. So first question I get a lot is, how is the TV constructed into the TV booth? And basically it's very simple. I took off the top here. I took off our top trim piece and basically the TV booth had just slid right down into here. And it's pressed against the front by this piece of wood that you'll see here that just hold it firmly in place. So, and this is just cut to the exact uh, di dimensions of the actual TV screen. So for those of you that are familiar with construction, this is basically a glorified kitchen cabinet on wheels. So there is a main structure and then there's two face plates that like this front part, the trim that goes all around here is all one piece that then is then put against the base piece in the middle and same thing back here. This whole frame is just a piece put onto the base part and we have the TV then just slid down the hole and then we just put on trim these trim pieces to make it look nice and we also added this trim piece on the side which is I'll show you here Right, so there's just this base kickboard trim that's hinged there so I can push this on so that it looks like it's fixing the room, which that's just one of my biggest gripe with some other TV booths is that they don't really cover up that base portion and it doesn't look like it belongs in the room. It doesn't look like a fix, uh, fixture in the room. Right, so that's basically it. It measures about five feet wide and about three feet deep. We made the top trim removable so that, because that does overhang and it doesn't fit in some doorways. Now, without that trim piece on the top, it will fit in most any doorway um, that we come across. So that's that, that's how the booth is constructed and that's what it looks like and that's how we got the TV in there. We also did this just in case the TV breaks um, we can just slide it out and put a new one in. There is no plexiglass or anything in front of here. I was a little worried about doing that um, just for being in some rooms that if it might create glare um, in some rooms with certain lights. So we just left it straight up like this. Just literally just the TV so for the best picture. So let's take a look behind the booth and what our setup looks like on top of the booth. So basically what you're gonna find out here, I installed a drawer. We have rack mounts right here that I'm currently building out. But what I have installed right now is just a drawer that's gonna house my touch mix here. I will have a mixer. And then we have the splitter box right here um, that will link to all the TVs. So that's what's on this shelf. We'll be adding things like microphone and drawers here. And then also down here, we have my easy accessible outputs so that we can run to speakers, subs, and TVs, and DMX. Basically what I then have in these drawers is just extra um, cables. So we have HDMI cables, power cables, more HDMI, uh, pens, anything that we might need in here. Because I don't currently carry a mic rack in here, I don't store microphones, that's something that's coming in the future. Um, I just carry it around in an, in an external case. Also, what is installed on here, we have 
outlets. You can see we have four, four outlet there. We have four outlets down here. We made two up top in each corner as well. And then I ran all the cabling so that a mixer can just literally sit in this. So coming out of the case, down through, we made grommets so that all the cases, um, all the wires can just easily slip right down. And then everything comes back over to a little bit of a mess back in there. Been trying to neat, make it neat, but it is what it is right now. Into our outputs. And then what I have over here, basically we have our quick connect for our HDMI to our TVs. And then we have our cord for our DMX. So the purpose of this is going to be so, when I'm DJing, are my light, my tech guys right here, he's controlling all of our TV screens and the DMX lighting in the room. Shout out DJ Barr, he put me onto this program, it's called Ecamm. This is what our, our lighting tech would be working with. We would be running my DMX 3.0 ADJ, and we have Ecamm right here on this column displaying what's on the TVs. And what I like about this is how it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on the screen, like running a big program. And basically I have all my scenes here that I want to play on the TV and we can just click through them. So this is broken up into monograms, atmospheres, dance visuals, and then we'll make like a holiday ones. So literally we can just click on these and it'll change the screen. We can make custom monograms, custom slideshows, throw it up on the TV screen. All right, real cool, real interactive. You know, not that many people have TV booths. This is something custom, still building it out, but I hope this video helps you guys. I really just wanted to go over, take a closer look with this TV booth as I've been getting a lot of questions, like I said earlier in the video. So this is what I'm working with, and you're gonna be a lot more videos coming out this year. Our first wedding of the year starts this weekend, so we'll be shooting a gig with that. Won't be bringing the TV booth out because it's up in a loft, but you'll be seeing a lot more of this bad boy in the future. So thanks for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more.